Hey guys, welcome. This is Tipika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this video, we are going to talk about all the setup that we need to do in order to show you this end-to-end -end integration. So the first thing that we will need is two Salesforce orgs. One will be acting as an external system where we are going to upload all the employee data and the second Salesforce org will be used as a client from where we are going to make the call to fetch the data from this external system. So we need two Salesforce orgs and I'm assuming you already know how to create a developer's account. Go ahead and do that. Create two Salesforce org. Make sure you keep the username and password handy. And the second thing you must be wondering is why do I need to install Postman? The reason I'm installing Postman is basically to mimic this end-to-end -end integration first with the help of Postman. So Postman is like our client and the, the external system where the employee data is hosted, we are going to call that using the Postman. And what steps we did in the Postman, the same steps we need to implement when we are integrating these two systems. Okay, so first we need to authenticate ourselves, and the second is then we will be able to make the call out to that system. I have a quick joke for you. I ordered a chicken and an egg online. I let you know what comes first. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and create two Salesforce developers org and also make sure to install Postman. And keep a note of those orgs because one will be acting as a client and the other one will acting as the source of data for us, okay? And I know majority of the people who are taking this course, they know how to create their account. So if you just wanna skip the video, you can do that and I'll see you in the next video. And if you just want me to see how to create the orgs, then just stay, watch the video till the end. So the first thing is, I'm going to open up and go over to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up here. And here I'm going to provide my first name, last name, employee source app, email address. I'm going to use my official email address here, role, then company name. You can use any company name here, country, United States, and then postal code and then username. Okay, so I'm going to use this as the username, employee source app at mytutorialrack.com. This is my first username. This is the org that I'm creating. I'm going to check this checkbox and hit the sign me up button. So I'm just going to keep a note of this over here and uh, I'm expecting an email. So I'll go over here. So I received the email. I'm gonna click on verify account. Make sure the username matches. So this is the username. And here I'm gonna set up the password and then hit the change password here. So one of my Salesforce orgs is ready. And here I'm going to create my employee HR table and I'm gonna add some fields, load some data. And we're going to do all of that in the next video. So I'm gonna see you then. Till then, take care.